Sometimes I add buttons to a worksheet, either to run a macro or to use as a hyperlink. So this button has a hyperlink to another sheet called Tasks. I've added another sheet in this workbook called Monthly Reports, so now I would have to add a button here to go to that sheet. Normally I just add these shapes and put some text on them and then insert the macro or the hyperlink, but then I have to adjust sizes and make sure the text is legible, so it gets a bit finicky sometimes to set them all up and have them look nice. Alex J has sent me a suggestion for a different way to make buttons, so I'm going to show you the problems with this original kind of button and why the new button suggestion is better. So for this sheet, it's my menu, and I'm going to have to add a button for monthly reports. So I'll show you what I would normally do. I've already got this button, so I would right-click on it and copy here. I get another button, so I'd select the text and type monthly reports. And now you see that that doesn't fit, so I'd have to make it wider and then adjust this one so it's the same. Then you end up with a lot of big buttons on the sheet, and it can look kind of overfilled and cumbersome. Alex has suggested a different way of making buttons, which I like much better. So I'm going to delete these two buttons. I'll right click and cut, and cut that one. Now Alex suggested a very small button with text to the side, so we'll see how to set that up. I'll go to insert, and I want shapes. And you can use any small shape. I could use a button or this rectangular shape. So I'll click that and make just a small button, just big enough to click on. Now we're going to add a caption to this to say what it does. So I will type tasks. And we can see that that button's too small to hold the text. So I'm going to go to its properties. So I'll right click and size and properties. And in here we've got a text box, so I'll click that. I want to allow the text to overflow the shape and I don't want it to wrap, so I'm going to turn that off. So now it's still inside the button. I want it outside, so I'm going to click at the start of the text and just add a few space characters until it's outside the text and you can see the cursor there. And I want to change it to black text so that it will show up on the worksheet. So I've clicked on the shape again. I'll go to Home and make that automatic. Now we can see the black text beside. And I could make that a bit bigger. So I'll make it a 12 and align it top to bottom in the middle so it lines up nicely. And I'll just leave it left aligned. So I want to make another one now for monthly reports. So I'll right click, copy here, and just move that down. So I'll double click to select that test and type monthly reports. So now I have two buttons. The text is easy to read because it's black text on the white background. All the buttons can be the same compact size and I've got a nice list that people can click. Now I'm going to put a hyperlink here. Right click, hyperlink, and this one will go to the tasks, cell A1. And this one I'll right click and hyperlink and this goes to monthly reports, cell A1. So I have two hyperlinks now. I can point to those buttons, but also I can point just to the text and it still works anywhere over the text. So you've got a nice big area for clicking, but a very small button which looks more compact and tidy than those big clunky buttons with text that had to be big enough to read. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.